See, what is Under Pressure? Under Pressure, man, it's actually a brand that, it just started in my head, man. Uh, I was in Costa Rica. I was laying in my bed in Costa Rica, in my room, and um, just, just thinking like how far I came, all the trials and tribulations I went through, uh, the adversity that, that I overcame, and how I performed under pressure, you know what I'm saying, to get to where I was at. And, and it's just like God put it on my mind for me to, boom, like, let's, let's make this a movement, make this a brand. So Under Pressure started out as a as just a brand, like me making shirts, being a testimony, like wear it on your chest, like what you did Under Pressure, just making a lot of gear. Then, then I started really training kids, and I figured like why not take Under Pressure and make it my training business also, because it makes sense. It was my first love. Uh, it was fun. I mean, you would never believe football was the first sport that I played. Uh, but basketball, once I was introduced to basketball, you know what I'm saying? I, I just felt like that's where my heart was. Uh, I studied the game crazy, man. Uh, my games improved from a jit to now. I mean, I went from being nobody to being a pro. Like, it's crazy uh, what, what the grind can do in basketball, man. Oh. Look, get white shirt. He's scared to guard me. He want to guard me when I get tired. He want to guard me when I get tired. He want to guard me when I get tired. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I just want two in a row. I just want two in a row. I'm good. I'm good. Bro, how many buckets you got? Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Cause you played for, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, the University of Virginia, UVA, right? Mm -hmm. um, and that's a huge accomplishment for most basketball players because they don't make it to a Division One team. Y'all ended up the conference champs champions, that year. Yeah. Conference and tournament champions, regular season and tournament. Uh, yeah. Made it to the Sweet 16 also. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a huge accomplishment for. Um, basketball players, especially here in America, do you feel as though uh, that our collegiate players are what you would consider professionals? Like collegiate players from here? Just overall. Yeah, because you know in other countries, you know at 15, 16, high road you are, oh. Oh, you I know, you're a pro. Yeah, for sure. If you're good sure. enough. But here, you know, our system is set a little different. The competition level it's is way, way higher. Way higher. Way but do, would you consider a player who's accomplished some of the things that you accomplished? Because it's not all for a lot of players because mm -hmm. the, the NBA is right there and they want that too. But right. do you consider that an accomplishment? It, I mean, do you consider that um, a, a professional? I'm sorry. Um, It just depends on what type of player you are. If, you, if you're the guy... That that's just going along with the wave to, to, to win things, then then you're not a professional. But if you're the guy that's putting in that work and, and y'all end up doing good and winning, then I feel like they could play professional overseas. He's over here is different and as in the states, like like you said, overseas, 15, 16, 17, mm -hmm. playing already. So pro. pretty much here, if you're not a pro, you're not a pro. If you're not a pro, you're not a pro here. Gotcha. Um, as of right now, are you pushing to go overseas and hoop? Are you hooping overseas already? Um, my last spot was last summer in the spring summer league in Costa Rica. Um, really killed that league, man. Averaging 23, 6, and 4 after not playing for two years, you know. Really killed that league, but I'm pushing. I'm pushing for the NBA. I want to I get in the NBA, but high overseas isn't, isn't out of sight either uh, right now. I got G League looks. I actually got a call from a team today. I ain't gonna say no names because you know I don't want everybody knowing my business. But but just know 
I'm right on everybody's tail, man. I'm, I'm getting back to where I was supposed to be. What would you say to players who um, look at the NBA like it's do all end all? Uh, man, it's a lot more money to make other than the NBA when it comes to pro. You got G League, you got overseas. You even got semi-pros and, and ABA teams that's out here paying you money, 2000 3000 a month to play in the States. But don't just look at the NBA, man, because it's political. It's political. Like, it's who you know when it comes to playing the NBA. Like, you and, your, and your path there. And your path. The path there, the path there is really different. It's very traditional. Yeah, very, very traditional, man. Um, it's just the grind, man. You got to stay down. You got to believe in yourself. Uh, the road's not easy. Like, everybody's not spoon-fed. I definitely wasn't spoon-fed. Um, you just got to work, if, especially if you want to make it to the league. You got to be different. You got to be different from everybody else. You got to do something different, whether that's talking trash, picking people up from 94 feet, rebounding. You just got to stand out to make it here in India. Um, and the competition level as far as just <laughs> your community because of course they had to push you in order to get you where you ended up. Um, because I, I do want to get into like what you're actually doing here in the community. Mm -hmm. um, but speaking of the community, there's a lot, a lot of players. We had a last interviewee for the basketball thing, Amir Jackson, say uh, that we have the best hoopers by in the far. world, in North Carolina. By far. We have the best hoopers here, by far. Like, it's not, I feel like it's, it's not even close. Like. New York can try to argue, Texas can try to argue. But I, honestly, I feel like we had the best athletes, period. Whether it come from football, basketball, baseball, soccer. I feel like we got the best athletes out of North Carolina. Point blank period. It's something in our water, man. I'm telling you, move your kids <laughs> to North Carolina if you want to make it. I'm telling you not, but, but we definitely had the best, the best hoopers by far. Good, good, seven.